Hey guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial where we are building this CMS application using ASP.NET Core and Angular 10. In the last video tutorial, we fixed the uh, security, activity, and the profile view in our application. Now we have another error that we need to fix, which is the home page of the admin panel. When we try to load the home page after the user logs in, we will see an error for null reference exception this error is caused in the top bar layout uh, shared view and if you look at the error message it's telling us that the profile dot first name and the profile dot last name uh, cannot be accessed or the value is null uh, and therefore uh, it's throwing an error on the screen this error is obvious that's because uh, we are not injecting the admin base view model in the home page and therefore the top bar layout when it tries to load the home page it does not find the uh, admin base view model and it gives us an error so let's go ahead and fix this for that we would have to go back to our application and here we would first get rid of this index view and then here inside the home controller we will go ahead and instantiate uh, certain objects in our constructor using dependency ingestion because we would need these objects so let's go ahead and uh, instantiate them so here we have added the required objects that we need and we have instantiated these objects using dependency ingestion we have injected the objects and assigned them the values now the index method i have changed it to a task that will return a in asynchronous index view and here we have set the admin base view model and we are injecting the admin base view model to the home page or to the home controller's index view so now when the home controller's index view is loaded it will find the injected admin base view model and it will load the user's profile uh, and the user first name and last name from the user profile model which is a part of the admin base view model now the next thing that we would want to do is rebuild our application to make sure that these changes are loaded so i will build the application and now let's run this application again so the application is loaded let's go back to the home page since our cookie should still be valid we would able to be logged in without having any issues so let's refresh this page as you can see now we have got rid of the error that's because the admin base view model is injected and the user profile which contains the user's first name and last name is available to be loaded on the top bar and now we can access these details on the home page now the next thing that we would need to do on the home page is to load the dashboard here is the finished project as you can see that when i load the home page on the finished projects we can see the cards that are available on display and these cards usually contain the information of the total number of users that we have in our application the new users that we have registered and two additional cards with static value these values are not loaded dynamically that's because we would not be implementing blogging in this video tutorial series the blogging uh, feature will be implemented in the next part or next phase of the video tutorial series so for now we will be implementing these two values dynamically which is the total users and new users and we will be displaying these values on the dashboard which is part of the home page of the admin panel since we need to display the values on our dashboard let's go ahead and create a dashboard service in our application so we will go back to the application 
stop the application now and we can go ahead and create a new service in our application let's add a new project we are going to add a class library project make sure you select the web and console library class library which is a dotnet class library we will go ahead and add the dashboard service we will make sure that we create this project inside the folder which contains all your projects so here we will open this and then create this project we don't need the default class so we will go ahead and delete this so as you know the drill whenever we create this projects we go ahead and add a class and an interface let's go ahead and do that so i have created the class called it dashboard svc which is a short form for service then i have created an interface called as i dashboard svc and implemented the interface on the dashboard service in the dashboard service we don't need to install any nuget packages but we would need to reference the data service project and the model service project since we are going to make use of models and the data uh, service so we will go ahead and click ok once we add these services we should also have the access to logging service because logging service is part of these projects so we don't need to add logging service reference separately in the project references now we will go ahead and instantiate the application db context instance using dependency injection so i have instantiated the, the database object using dependency injection and we will use it to get the dashboard data which contains the total number of posts total number of users and all other data in case you want to display it on your dashboard you can create additional cards but for this project we will be just using the two values so let's go ahead and create a method we will call this method as get dashboard data and this method is going to return a dashboard model object so we have to go ahead and create this dashboard model object so let's create it inside the model service oh i already have created it in one of the previous video tutorials apologize so we have the dashboard model class we had created it for the admin base view so we can just add the missing reference to system dot threading tasks and the model service so now what we need to do is we just need to write the logic that we need to fetch the information from our database using the db context transaction first thing i will do here is create a object of type dash model which i will be returning uh, when this method is called and then i will create my try catch block to display any errors or to log any errors if I get any errors while uh, processing this request so we will log the errors using the logging service using serilog as mentioned that the logging service is part of the data service so we didn't have to reference it separately and now inside the try block we are going to create our DB context transaction so that we can begin the transaction on our database so here we have added the statement to begin the transaction and you, this is done using the entity framework core classes and methods so now the next thing that we want to do inside our try block try to fetch the data but if anything goes wrong there are there are errors then we can just roll back using the db context transaction dot rollback uh, method uh, in the try block we will try to get the application users since we just want to display the count of the users how many users total users we have we can call the count async method and here we would have to add the reference to entity framework code in order to use the count async method on the application user db set next thing here we would add to add reference to system dot link since we are performing a link query 
here we are using the total post as I mentioned this is a static value since we are not implementing this feature in this uh, phase for the new application users that have registered in your application we would have to add a query and we will filter the results of the users based on their created date so when the account was created if that specific date is today's date that means those users are new users and we will add them uh, add the account in the on the card card so we are just filtering them based on the date time object so here we will then return the db context transaction now here we are going to receive an error because the db context transaction cannot be accessed uh, from this catch block so how do we uh, solve this error so what we can do is we can add another try catch block or around this try block so what i'm going to do is here i will add another try catch block and i will move this code over here I will also need to log any errors so I can display it over here and then inside this try block I can move my transaction code and I can also move this begin transaction code in the first try block so if there is any error while uh, conducting this transaction or starting this transaction then I can catch that error in this first try catch block and then log that error so here we have solved this issue so now finally we need to return the dashboard model object so we can return it outside the try block and that should be it so if this uh, model is uh, empty then we will not receive any values but if this model has values then we can access it use, using the property names so now we have the dashboard service created with the required method so we just need one method in this service which is get dashboard data since we are using an interface we have to specify this method over here this is a factory pattern that we are following so I will reference the missing projects and then we can go to the home controller and here we can create another object called as I dashboard service let's go and reference this project so i'll add the missing statement did i spell it wrong Yep, so add the missing reference. We will instantiate this object in the constructor. And here we can get the data for our dashboard. So I'm just going to get the data using the dashboard service dot gets dashboard data method that we created and in our admin base view model we have the dashboard property or dashboard model we can assign this dashboard object over here so now when we inject the admin base view model on the home page the dashboard will have values to display now there's one thing that we need to do which is we have added a reference to a new project we are injecting the uh, i dashboard that's the interface to get the access to the values of dashboard 
but we have not yet added it to the middleware or to the pipeline of our application so let's go to startup class and then inject this service so it's available so here I have added the dashboard service the interface and the class and I'm going to add the missing import statement so we get rid of the errors now we have the dashboard service ready to be injected in the constructor classes whenever we need it so now we can rebuild our application and then try to load the admin panel and if everything goes well we should see the information on the cards on the admin panel so a build has zero errors so let's go ahead and run this application now so the application is loaded let's go to the admin panel let me log out from the finished project and go and log into the main project we refresh it so now when we log in to the admin panel of our local project we don't see any uh, cards but let's see if we have any errors okay we don't have any errors and the reason being that we have not yet created the view so we would need to create that in order to display the values so I'll go back to the application and inside the admin views and then shared view I'm going to create another partial view I'm going to select razor view and call this view as stats layout now you can name this view anything that you like since I'm displaying the stats of the application users and other information I've called it stats layout so I'll create this partial view and I'll get rid of this comment and here I will create the cards that are going to be shown on the home page so here I have added the bootstrap code that is needed to display the cards and I have used the admin base view model I've injected it and I've used the values from dashboard to display the dashboard data using razor syntax now the next thing that I would want to do I would have to go to the admin layout and here uh, after the top bar layout I'm going to add the stats layout so now I will have the stats layout displayed on the default admin layout so if I save this or oh, I think I can just refresh it I don't need to rebuild it because I just edited the view so yeah so I could I didn't have to reload the entire application so just by refreshing it now I can see the uh, cards on the dashboard or the stats and then I have this uh, partial view that is creating this cards for us so as you can see that the dashboard service is working we have no errors and it's injecting the data on the stats and we have used the admin base view model which is using the dashboard model to display the values so now for this video tutorial that should be it we have successfully implemented uh, the dashboard service dashboard view and also fixed the errors on the top bar for the home page if you have any questions use the comment section I will answer those questions the code will be available in the DevOps repo the link will be provided in the video description uh, these videos take a lot of time to record so please do not forget to like this video tutorial and subscribe to our channel thank you